Hey, Chef Mark, we're back in the laboratory, and today I am opening a box. It is from my friends at Uncommon Goods. We are working on a new skills-based class that you could take online at Uncommon Goods. Did you know that Uncommon Goods has uncommon experiences? You could learn mixology. You could learn how to paint a picture of your dog. You could learn floor arrangement, and you can learn cooking too. So I teach a couple classes there, and early on in, in recipe development, they sent me some products that, that they try to get me to incorporate into classes, which is great, because these classes make wonderful gifts. So, we're gonna open this box, we're gonna take a look at what we have here, hopefully some, some ingredients that I can taste. One of the challenges that I have with uh, developing recipes for Uncommon Goods is that they are uh, vegetarian, vegan when possible, leather and feather free. I'm a starch carnivore, so I sometimes struggle to come up with class ideas. <clears throat> we got some spices, espresso salt, that sounds gross, lime salt, cool. Mm, let's see here. Let me open this up and we'll get a closer look. All right, let's start with Florida to sell. And when I taste it, I just kind of dip my finger in a little water so it sticks. Yeah, it tastes good. I'm not a huge fan of like the wet salts that have like a, that are packed with some moisture. I prefer dry kosher salt, you know, for sprinkling. Um, but as a garnishment, very nice. I know this is gonna sound weird, but it's salty. It's uh, high in sodium. It's good. Sriracha salt. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. See how this is a drier salt? So I find that's a little easier for sprinkling. Let's see here. Mm. That's delicious. Not too salty. <laughs> it's got quite a bit of heat. That'd be awesome on eggs on an omelet. Delicious. That's, it would offer a nice crunch and good flavor as well. Lime, says here, uh, poultry rim uh, margarita glass. That's a good idea. Let's see. Oops. Um, I'm sure it'd be fine on a margarita glass. I, I think I was expecting more like, um, maybe some sugar added to it, like a little natural sweetener, um, better for rimming. It's okay. It's a little sour for my taste. Let's see here. Next. Ooh, truffle salt. My favorite. Let's see. A good truffle salt. You can see bits of truffle in there. Now, all the things that you would want truffle on. That's very good. Mm. Jalapeno salt. I'm starting to lose my palate a little bit. Let's try jalapeno salt. Ooh, I took too much. Mm. It's got a little heat to it, not as much as the sriracha. I prefer the sriracha over the jalapeno. I think that's the one I'll focus on. And then finally, espresso salt. It smells better than I expected it to. When I first opened the lid, I was shocked at how much nice smell we got. Now, one thing I could see using this before I taste it, let me give you my opinion here. If you've ever tasted some salt, uh, some coffee, it's a touch bitter. If you add a little salt, it actually kind of rounds out the coffee a little bit. So I wonder how this would taste sprinkled in coffee. Let's see here. Yeah, it's good. It says burgers, pork chops, cocktails. I can see maybe adding this to my uh, chocolate truffle tart recipe. I like to add some salt that would help fortify that flavor. I'm not quite sure how I'll utilize this, but it's good. So my favorites here are definitely the truffle salt. But that's, that's low-hanging fruit. So let's talk about um, the espresso salt, very good. The sriracha salt, very good. And of course, the truffle salt. I'm going to try to flip. Oh! Kind of an interesting addition to uh, the pantry. We'll give it a shot. I'll keep an open mind. All right, this is Chef Mark. Thanks for joining me on this unboxing video. Take care.